So, not like anybody knows this, but I did this video before. Let's hope it's working now. The Fujifilm, the microphone wasn't on. Ah, oh, sorry, it's frustrating. So anyway, public school versus private school. Uh, I'm gonna do this different than everyone else. I'm not gonna do just the pros and cons, more a day in the life of a private school person that I'm wearing. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a joke. All trash neck trailer shirt that I made. Uh, I'm in the t-shirt industry. It's not, it's not a plug, but it, it doesn't fit me uh, for, for so many reasons. But it was just a cool uh, thing I saw. So anyway, um, to give you a little backstory first, uh, we are currently in Central Florida, and public schools are complete chaos in Florida. I know they are throughout the United States, but Florida has always been the worst for education. And I'm going to say probably the worst for violence and complete chaos in the schools. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I talk to parents throughout the United States. You know, I'm in the farming industry, ranching industry, not farming, ranching industry, supplements, CBD, you know, coffee, clothing. So I speak to people all throughout the United States. I'm Mr. This, so I hear. Uh, and everyone complains about the public schools here. But it's really all over the United States. They're really bad. So, backstory. I came from Pennsylvania Dutch country, and I will go on record at saying Brandywine Heights High School, at, and when I went there, not nowadays, because they put a, they allowed a girl or boy with a kitty litter box in the middle school. Totally wrong on so many levels, I don't care. You can, it's just wrong on so many levels, uh, especially in a little farming school. You wanna do that in the city or whatever, I still, whatever. Uh, Long Swamp Elementary, uh, Graduated 1993, actually in Oviedo, my parents, my dad forced me to move here uh, my senior year of high school, so, but again, Brandywine, uh, I probably almost bet my life it was the best school ever. Uh, it was just epic, so at least I got to experience an epic school where most people don't ever experience a good, have a good schooling. I uh, went here my senior year to Oviedo. It was fine. Um, way better than most of the schools around here. Again, for, for uh, it's just the safety reasons. Education was terrible here. My wife is Chinese. Uh, so she grew up in what's called Crime Hills, Pine Hills, one of the most dangerous places in the United States, right next to Disney. <laughs> but they don't tell you. It's funny, I met an FBI agent. And he's like, really? I'm like, yeah. He's like, dude. I was like, anyway. Uh, and she was always like, well, I survived. If I could survive crime hills uh you know my kids can too but anyway so my kids are in fifth uh fifth grade and uh, kindergarten but it came down to yeah you're right i want the, the stereotype chinese thing the education wise better education i wanted safety so finally figured out oh god we're gonna have to work out you know 15 20 plus thousand a year to send our kids to private school but you got to do what you got to do that's how we feel you do the best what you can for your kids and I remember say, saying at the time that uh, so many uh, relatives was like, I'm gonna send my kids to public school, toughen them up, you should too, because your kids are a bunch of, I uh, can't use the word, I'm trying to keep this PG here, uh, but babies. And I'm like, well, it's my choice. I don't want my kids uh, fighting all the time, even in elementary school or whatnot. So my choice. So there's the backstory. Hopefully this helps a little bit. So we chose a nice little school. Uh, very sheltered, very little sheltered school. Oh, and one thing I do always say, and this is not for YouTube, say this all the time, just because you're sending your kid to private school, there's not gonna be issues, but there's gonna be very little issues, if anything. Uh, very rarely fights, uh, bullying, bullying's gonna be minimal from what I hear at all different schools. Uh, and so, and I don't say all public schools are bad. There's still a lot of great public schools out there, I'm sure, uh, but most of them are absolutely horrible uh, and I understand not very few people have the money to send their kid to a private school or even have it in their area and I think things are changing because now we're looking at North Carolina out Raleigh dorm uh, that triangle so there's a lot of private schools but they're going through the same thing uh, people want to send their kids to private school and I and from what I hear the public schools are pretty good there but I don't know okay so a day in the life is basically, you know, you wake up and the kids all have to wear a uniform, which is totally awesome. 
uh, on so many levels. I talked to the guidance counselor about this recently, and we, we all agree that public school kids should all have to wear a uniform. Uh, it would just help out public school systems so much better. You still got the sneaker situation. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you understand, you understand. So you wear a uniform. Uh, then there's no school bus. So you have to drive your kid to school, which to me is totally awesome. I mean, well, I hate the traffic, but the deal to have an extra half an hour or whatever with my kids is awesome. Now, I know some public schools, uh, you know, you, especially in Florida, you can drive them and you can pick them up via the car. You don't have to use a school bus. So it's not the case. But anyway, we're going to stick with old school, school bus, no school bus. So you have to drive them there, drop them off. Now, the school we go to is completely different in the sense that you can walk them to class, which not many people do, but I really like to do. I'd have a presence there, but also get to uh, see what's happening. And what you notice is all the kids don't run, roam in the hall like we all did, causing uh, chaos or whatever. So the kids are uh, go immediately to school, uh, class I mean. Sorry, I was wondering if the music in the background is getting too loud. Um, but you get to talk to the teachers, get to talk to other parents, and see what's happening, and it's totally awesome. And plus, I get to relive, <laughs> relive school too. But then in the afternoon, we actually get to walk up to pick our kids up from school, which is totally awesome. So that's an extra 10, 20 minutes I get to spend with other parents, make new friends, uh, which has been great. I get to see how everybody is interacting with each other, which is really good this year because uh, my daughter has a lot of kids that I, I just started to you can tell are on the scholarship program that the state offers uh, and are very bad. Uh, now, normally these kids are weeded out by first, second grade because academically they can't handle it. I'm not saying all these scholarships are great because they help a lot of us out, uh, but you know, it's, I think it's one of those things people that get free stuff normally don't appreciate it right you give someone a free house but the people that get it aren't going to be appreciative of it uh so we'll leave it at that i'm be very vague on this but so i mean the scholarships have helped some people that want it need it deserve it but for mostly it's it's a it's, a, it's just a bad uh, it's a, ba a bad thing um so you get to see that and you get to see, again, how all the kids interact and my daughter kind of got sucked into with some of the, when I say bad kids, uh, but it's all working itself out. Um, sorry, I, I have to be vague, you know, it's YouTube, I have to be, I have to be vague. Um, but anyway, it's really cool because you sit there, you get to talk to parents, get to talk to teachers, the guidance counselor, principals, everyone's out there. And what this does is it, it creates what... I, what I personally like, what I grew up with, a very sheltered, homey type of feel with this whole school. And a lot of private schools are like this. They're very small. Everybody knows everybody. It's not all about sports. I mean, they do have sports, but it's not. It's more about academics. Uh, more nerdy kids, because uh, we usually got more money, and it's just the way it is. It's just, you know, and it's fine, though. It's, it's my kids aren't, oh, they're not public school kids. They're not tough, uh, you know, like that. So I'm hoping this helping. I, you know, sorry, it's YouTube. You gotta watch everything you say. Cause I watched this other uh, video in North Carolina. And I guess they're uh, the dean or whatever, and he's like, I don't know. Everybody here says they gotta in North Carolina. They gotta bring. They want to bring their kids to private school for safety reasons. He goes, I just don't get it. I do. I think most of us do. And it's a real shame, you know. Again, I would do anything for my kids, but to be forking out, you know, 20, 30, 40,000, 60, I have friends that are forking almost $100,000 a year to send their kids to private school. This is a real shame. Now, it's different if you want to send your kids out like, like an Ivy League school, you want to make sure they get in there, whatever. But just for us everyday people that my kids aren't going to go to school, probably college, whatever, I mean, man, I mean, I would love to be doing something else with the money. Um, you know, buy my kids vacations or, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I, I, but this is the world we live in. We have to do things like this nowadays. And hey, the government needs to step it up. And then you hear a lot of the teachers uh, just don't care at public schools. You, you just hear it a lot. 
Um, and I don't get, and I don't blame them with the complete chaos that's going in at the beginning of teaching nowadays is different. But the teachers at all the private schools all love their job. They really do. Oh, and the last thing is, you know, we had to choose, uh, most private schools are going to have religion in it. So you're going to have to deal with that. I'm not a Bible type of religious person. I have my own beliefs. We'll leave it at that. Uh, so I was like, eh. But it's either that or the bullying. Well, we'll choose the religion. Because at the end of the day, it's not really that bad. Uh, you know, have my kid come home with a black guy or I was pushed down the stairs. You know, I'm getting beat up every day. I'm getting harassed. I'd rather have the religion than the bullying. Again, that's me. But like I said, I know somebody that's different than that. Um, I never say um and I'm saying um. I think that's it. Try and keep this short, not to rant. But if you think I'm a complete idiot, I'm wrong on any of this stuff, that's fine. You have questions, feel free to ask me. Um, again, um, it's a shame we have to do this nowadays, but this is the world we live in now. I, I said it's, it's, but we really do need to clean up public schools. And I think probably the average American is in agreement with me on that one because there's just complete chaos. But then you know what? I know people that don't even have no clue what's going on even on in their in their kids' life, and that's what's great. Like when I pick up my kids after from school, I'm picking them up, and I get to hear about it immediately, right away. Like what happened in their day and everything like that. Even though I'm driving, they're like, Daddy, you're not listening to me. I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm only partially listening because I'm not trying to get us killed by driving because it's complete chaos in Florida driving. But I don't know. So overall, it's worth it.